Shoshana Medney here for TheaterPizzazz.com at the 2019 Say Gala. As they say in Hamilton, you simply must meet Thomas. Thomas! Thomas Kale, or as we like to say, Tommy, is the director of Hamilton, but it's what he does here with the Say Children that's really his legacy. They had this program where the students would write and direct their own material, so I ended up mentoring um, one of those projects and doing another one later, and, and I found in that it's just a reminder of how all we do is rush around and think we need to get somewhere, and there's some sort of results-oriented target that we're trying to hit, and none of that matters. What matters is being right where you are, and I feel like it's a reminder of how to listen, of how we listen, and of the power and courage that is in so many young people everywhere, and that the theater provides a platform for them to express. say the people that they honor also represent kind of who they are. I mean, Tommy and Everett are both such generous artists who uh, want to help people in every way, and um, they live their lives that way, and so they're not being honored for just um, their notoriety, they're being honored because they're actually kind of beautiful people, and that's kind of, say wants to be surrounded all the time with that, that type of person. He gives so much of himself to make this world a better place. Say. The Stuttering Association for the Young is an essential community where young people who stutter can find their voice. Anyone who's had the pleasure of meeting Tommy knows he's blessed with the ability to make you feel immediately like family. Tommy's helped so many people express themselves, myself included. He defines what advocacy is all about. I can't think of a more deserving person to receive this prestigious award tonight. To the kids and teens of Say, keep sharing your voice. History has its eyes on you. You actually made me feel good. I spend my time trying to make people laugh and feel good. You made me feel good. You always make me feel good. Even if we never ever work together again. Don't do that. You, <laughs> you make me feel good. You make me feel safe. And I think the fact that you can do that for these young men and women in this program goes far beyond. That's a better legacy. And it may be theatrical heresy to say this, but, but to know this part of you, this is the part that impresses me more than Ted Hamilton's 15 TV shows and whatever. This, you're a good man. <laughs> Of, of every gesture, of every word, is felt so deeply within this organization, with this group. And it's a place where if you stop and you listen, you see the most beautiful things you can possibly imagine. So with a full heart, I thank you deeply. And I can't wait for however I can fit into this and to see what all of these remarkable, remarkable kids do next. Thank you. <laughs> our voices to communicate we I, I my whole life is about my voice you know I sing I speak on stage I'm an actress and uh, since I met Taro and the people of say 15 maybe years ago um, that's what hits me every time is how grateful I am for that and I watch these young kids struggle to do what we think of as the, the most simple thing when they have so much to say such beautiful things to say so I want to be a part of this because I want to help them they help me actually more than I help them And Everett Bradley, he's been touring with Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi, but he spends his time making sure the kids feel comfortable, writing songs with him, and really making them feel seen and heard. I knew he was a great person. The first day that I saw him work with a kid at Say, I realized that he was a monumental person, and that his heart is the size of the universe. And if you know Everett, you know that he is a very accomplished person. He has toured the world with some of the greats. He has recorded his own phenomenal albums. He is busy, busy, busy. And when he is with someone, when you are with a say child, it is like nothing else in the world exists. You are there for them. You listen to them. You are patient with them. You trust them. And it's because of you. I know I started it, I understand that. It's because of you 
that this organization is what it is. Your loving heart, right from the start, for 18 years, you've changed the game, for 18 years, thank God you came to build these kids. Uh, I was just I'm just doing the good work that needs to be done and then all of a sudden they they're giving me this this honor and this award and I didn't even realize that it had been 18 years of service so um, but now that I'm in it I'm starting to reflect and starting to really uh, appreciate all the love and support that people are giving me and and also to see all these kids blossom. My pleasure to induct my very dear friend on this, the 13th day of May in 2019, into the Say Hall of Fame, Mr. Everett Bradley. It's, it's not really important what you do or the award you get. It's the person you become. <clears throat> First, I want to thank Taro for opening up to me about this idea over dinner in Bucharest, Romania, 18 years ago. And look at where we are now. It's amazing what happens when you put your heart and mind and passion into something you believe in. Oh, oh, oh.